Well, how do there, chums? Good morning, in fact. And I've got myself a nice cup of tea, got myself a brew. Heck yes, I'm just going to have a little sip of this. But we're going to be getting into a new game. And it's in early access. It's over on Steam and PC. It's called Spaceborn 2. Well, what is Spaceborn 2? Now, I'd, I've seen a couple of different videos on this. I saw like, little trailers and things. In fact, I saw a video by Obsidian Ant that put this onto my radar, people. And it kind of almost looks a little bit like No Man's Sky in its basics. But it's also got elements of, say, Elite Dangerous thrown in there as well. And there's a lot of talking to be done, so maybe a little bit of Mass Effect. It just seems to be a medley of favourite space games. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a blast. I'm going to give me my first impressions. And at the end of this, I'll be saying whether I think I'm going to bring it to my channel or not. So it's a first impressions and mini review in a roundabout way thrown into one. So let's jump over onto PC Gaming and let's give this a little bit of a try, shall we? So already, there's the actual title screen looks quite nice. I'm going to the old settings here. I like the transition with the um, thing there. That was, that was cool, wasn't it? Nice little sound effects and things. Looks quite nice. Look quite a lot there. I've got it all on Epic at the moment. All right, fine. Gameplay, interfaces and inputs. I'm looking to see if it's got joypad. Now, I have got my actual... Oh, look, gamepad settings. So it looks like it might have gamepad settings in there. However, that's not moving the mouse pointer right now. So I hit up New Game. And we'll see if it registers my joypad. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this is interesting. This is a bit like character sheets from role-play games, isn't it? I'm just going to stick four into each since I've got 32 points to spend. My maths is about right. We should be okay. I've put all of these up to 10, and we'll see how we are after we've got 10 in there. I'm going to miss alertness for now because I'm not very alert in the best of times, people. I'll put that up to 10 as well. And we've only got three points to spend on alertness. That's what I thought I'd have. Yes, mathematical genius. Right, background. Um, I will fudge and heck. It's got captain in the list. <laughs> well, I'm Captain Steve. I'm Captain Steve, mate. That's happening. Captain Steve. Boom. Straight into there. We're going to get all these sort of bonuses. What the fudge is this? That looks like a freaking mech. Okay. Appearance. Well, that, that looks okay. I'm kind of okay with that. Is there like a random generator here? What's this one? Morphs. Oh, my days. There's loads of stuff going on in here. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. So you can play with this to your heart's content, I suppose. Male, gender, skin, tattoo, makeup, skin, all that sort of stuff. It's a shame there isn't just random generate because, um, yeah. Anyway, if I wanted to, I could go to town on this. But because we're just doing a, a quick playthrough, I'm not going to bother. I'm going to put in Captain Steve. Hopefully they're not going to call me Captain Captain Steve. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, start. Let's jump on in. Let's take a look at this. All right, now I haven't got a headset on, so I can't really hear the sound levels or anything like that. Hopefully everything's okay for you people in the view of us. I'm going to have another sip of my tea while we're waiting for this to load in. Hopefully you're hearing something though right now. Okay, well, this game is actually made by one person. And by the looks of things, no. There's nothing going on here with my joypad. All right, fine. Well, we'll put that to one side. This is going to be awkward because my mic is over here. And my, I'm going to have to look around like this. This is going to be fun. All right, fine. I can't really play for this sort of duration of time like this. This is really uncomfortable. All right, fine. Well, that sounded a bit muffled to me. Probably just sounded muffled to you, but I think it was supposed to be like, can I run? Yes, I can. Can I jump? Heck yes, I can. Like a freaking ninja. Okay, well, so far, the actual ground control on this, this is quite, this is quite smooth. There's rock here. Oh, and I can climb. Freaking parkour hardcore, mate. Heck yes. <laughs> Free runner, Captain Steve. Where's my stamina bar? Cause, oh, it's down there in the bottom right-hand corner. That little yellow dotted line going up. Okay, fine. Right, well, we'll head over here then. We'll go speak to this lovely lady. I like the crowds, and I love this city. This looks a little bit like something out of Star Wars, doesn't it? Like Moss Eisley or whatever. Heck okay, yes, so let's go and speak to this lady. Hello there, lady with the blue rinse. Okay. I would say that the animations on the character models aren't that great, but this is made by one person, people. Right, interact. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just going to be truthful. I, I can't. I, yeah. I don't really want to do mundane work. Okay. All right. Just let me know where I need to go to next. Okay. Yes, I promise. You've got my word, lady. 
Okay, now we've got to go speak to some chap over there. Oiguiba. I guess he's the mission giver. Let's see if we can just jump off. Oh, I climbed up there. Fair enough. Meow. It's quite fluid. It, it's quite responsive. This is actually really quite good. Okay. I, 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 was, I, was, I was a little bit in two minds of this, but you know what? This is good. Okay. Yeah. Got anything with more action? Just give me the mission. <laughs> I don't know what. I, I want to get through this as quick as possible. And all these choices sort of plow into that, don't they? Get your ship. All right, well, fine. We, we've hurried that along, didn't we? All right, okay. Well, we're going to be seeing what space travel's like. I didn't know whether we'd get this far, but that's, that's pretty cool. I'm liking the actual speed and sort of progression. All right, I don't know how I shoot or how I draw a weapon. Or anything like that. But then again, we... Oh, fudging heck, I've run into a wall. All right, well, let's just press on on. Where is my ship? Is that the ship hangar? That's pretty darn cool. There's like a star in the sky. It's quite a believable, immersive sort of world that they've created here for the starting planet. As far as first impressions go, first impressions draw on the floor. It's It looks great. It moves great. That's not my ship. That's too good to be my ship. I bet I get a freaking tin can with wings. Oh, it looks like I've got exactly that. Look at it. It looks like it's been put together by an airfix kit or something. All right. Actually, you know what? It, even though it looks like a piece of junk, it looks quite fitting for um, me. <laughs> Doesn't it really, to be fair? And look at all this graffiti in the background. That's actually really cool. For one person doing this, this is, this is pretty amazing. All right, fine. Anyway, I need to just sort of think of this as a game, though, not who's made it or whatever. Take off. Ah, all right. And you hold it to take off. Objective complete. There we go. Press and hold R to take off. Done, mate. Freaking done. Done that. Done it. Okay. And how do I boost? Okay. Meow. Okay. You can switch camera with C or hold Z. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm quite happy with this camera view, mate. But um, just to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. I'm happy with that one anyway. Let's fly on out then. Leave the planet. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Honest. Okay, uh, maybe I've got to get to a certain altitude before I can leave the planet. If you hold down the run key, which is shift, I can go a little bit faster. Okay, have I reached the highest point of the atmosphere? No, I'm still going, I'm still going. 300, well, 3,000, 4,000. Pretty cool. I'm liking this so far, people. Hold the thrusters to exit the surface. Left shift, just hold that. Okay, press and hold. I'm pressing and holding, I am pressing and holding. There we go. Holy fudge, look at that. That's pretty cool. Awesome, right. So hopefully we're going to end up in space, I'd imagine. Oh, so you can transition from planet to space, but was that seamless or was that a, a sneaky cutscene load screen? I think that was a sneaky cutscene load scene. Oh, what's all this? Okay, first open the scanner room with T, then select a warp target, close the scanner interface, so I'd imagine that's T again. Lock onto the target with the lock key, which is the middle mouse button. Change the warp engine thruster input with left shift. Oh, charge. Sorry, not change. Alternatively, you can activate the warp drive if no warp target has been set. So you can eat. You can see, you can see every warp destination in the system. Initiate warp process. Interesting. Okay, well let's let's try that then. So I'm in space. I need to find. Hold T. All right, and we'll press T. Select the mining station. That's where we've got to go. Okay, so I just select that, that with left mouse button. And I've done that. All right. Now I've got to find it out here on the general map. Mining station. Oh, oh there it is. Okay. All right. Now, if I use the ma middle mouse button on that. Okay. I'm trying. Z to lock. Okay. Z to lock. Okay. Well, we've done it. Okay. And then left shift to charge. Okay. <laughs> and we're off oh that's freaking awesome okay well i would say that this isn't as invo involved as elite dangerous not by a long chalk but it's got more to it than no man's sky this is a happy medium i actually like this yeah hold on. Well, 
It's also got decent points where I can drink some tea. Oh, you're here on the scout mission. Specifically requested. Those were the ships above. Yeah, okay, brilliant. <laughs> he says my ships are floating load of junk. Just show me where to shoot, mate. No, don't, don't, don't. Don't worry about the condition of my ship. I know it's a piece of junk. Yep, I can move my right and left. Not a problem. There we go. There we are. I'm doing a little dance for you. Done. Okay. Okay. A and D and A. All right. There we go. Oh, okay. You want me to move that way? There we go. I'll move back the other way now. Let's see your hover thrusts. R and V. Okay. Hold on. There's a little bit of inertia. So, yeah. It, um... It carries on going. Nice. Now give me some walls. Oh, okay. E and Q. Boom, mate. Freaking have that for a freaking roll. And the other way. Your turbo thrusters are in good shape. W and L. Okay, W. And left shift. Finally, let's try dodge the boots. DNA. Oh wait, okay, double press. Okay, how do I do that? Tab. Okay. I'm sending you a target with no shield, so you can easily destroy this target with your turrets. Now activate your turrets weapon group. With one. Beautiful. Now let's try a target with shield. Activate your laser weapons. Group two with two. Okay. Oh, sweet. Not bad, but it is easy to hit stationary points. For dynamic targets, you should first lock it. Now lock the target I sent. Which, where's the target? Okay, we're going to this one. Okay. Take that, you, you scallywag. Lock target with Z. Die! Oh, you can just hold left mouse button. <laughs> I was clicking it like a moron. Okay, I think they're overheated. Let's go back to let's go to step one. Chicka boom! Have that, you scatter. Heck yes, you're down. Okay. Is that completely done? Since you're using a fighter class ship, we need to check the pursuit systems as well. Let's try it now. Missile lock. Is that on me, or have I got missiles? Have I got missiles? Have I got missiles? And you didn't tell me I had missiles. Uh-oh. I, I just saw him fire missiles. Where'd he go? I thought I was locked onto him. Go for weapon group two. I think that takes his shields quicker, doesn't it? Have that, mate. Freaking how do you like them apples? Freaking have it. I thought I already killed him, but apparently not. I must have just weakened him or something. Okay, that's run out. Go back to group one. Right, you're freaking going to die this time, mate. Okay, well, I'm, I'm really liking this. This is actually really good fun. Unidentified scout ships patrolling the area. We want okay. you to take care of them. Okay, scout ship. Where, where's this scout ship, then? Aha, there you are. Right, I'm after you now, scout ship. 
I guess. Boom. Let's go get him. Get him! Destroy the scout ships. There he is, over there. Isn't, it doesn't feel like it's going very fast, but you see that number on the scout ship? That's going down rather... Oh no, it's going up again. Why is it going up again? Okay, I guess he's moving as well. That makes sense. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to freaking get him. No, we're not. He's, um, he's out running us. He seems to be going... I get closer, and then for whatever reason, it's not... He pulls away. Ha! Oh, fudge. It looks like he's led us over to two fighters. Fudge. Dang it! Okay, right. Well, this looks like it might be a little bit more involved than maybe doing, like, a, a Captain Steve first impressions. It looks like I might need a good freaking hour to do a first impressions of this game because it's bloody good fun. However, um, I would rather it if it worked on joypad people so you know what i think i've seen enough of this to know that i like it i do like this but it needs to work with joypad or i need to find a joypad that works with it so i might need to do a bit of research into this but you know what for now i think i'm just going to quit out yeah i'm going to quit out i'm going to jump back over onto here and i'm going to finish off my cup of tea but i i'm going to tell you now people i enjoyed that i enjoyed that quite a lot but i think it needs to work with a joypad for me to actually consider playing it for long term because I, it's just too uncomfortable work playing on a laptop for me or I need to find a controller that does work. I did notice that it had HOTUS support inside of settings. So yeah, when I was looking inside of there, I'm fairly sure fairly sure HOTUS or whatever, but I haven't got a HOTUS. Oh, it's greyed out at the moment, HOTUS, so it doesn't have that either. I've got to remember that this is in early access, people. So it's got a lot going for it, though. It really has, hasn't it? Um, I really like it. I think it's a pretty good game. Even in early access, it looks like it's got quite a lot of potential to be something special. So, yeah, it's definitely one I'm going to be firing up. Every single time that I see that there has been an update for this game, I'm going to be testing to see whether Joypad support has been added. And if it has, I'm going to bring it to my channel, people. Um, because I think that's quite a nice little warm-up game to get me ready for the likes of Starfield. And also, it's got sort of similarities to games that I love, like No Man's Sky and Elite Dangerous. So, you know what? I think it's worth a punt, that one. So there we go, people. Hopefully you like this. And if it's, it's something you like the look of, take a look on Steam. Have a look, see what you think. See if you want to pick it up. I don't believe that it's got multiplayer, but who knows what the future might bring for a game that's in early development. It could move that way one day. Who knows? Anyway, people, I like it. Until next time, people, I'm going to be jumping over and drinking the rest of my tea, and I'll see you for the next episode of one of these. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.